sound speeds. And if you're interested in hiding lavalier microphones on people underneath their clothes, then you're going to want to know all the tricks of the trade, right? Including all the accessories available on the market to do such a thing. And there's a company called Hydamic that specializes in manufacturing products for that purpose. But before we get going, full disclosure, Hydamic did send me all the products that you're going to see in this video in exchange for showcasing them to you in this video and showing people in real life classes I teach how to use these products on people and underneath their clothing. But they had no input into the creation of this video. And I also want to thank True Audio Atlanta for providing me with the lavalier microphones used in this video. Now, without further delay, let's look at the products. Hydamite got their name for producing a whole bunch of different options for microphone concealment. So this here is one of their flagship products here. This is their four pack of concealers. Now, they do have, for the cost 11 as of the time of this video, a soft and flexible version as well. These are more hard plastic and the soft and flexible ones are rubber. So that's one of the cool little features about this is that you can actually, uh, you know, spring them kind of easily and uh, squish it and it comes right back. But we're not going to really demo the soft and flexible one in this video, nor are we going to do the black ones because it's going to kind of be more difficult to see. As with other uh, videos on this channel, I'm going to be using a lighter color one because it's going to be easier to see on video. Now this four pack of concealers comes in white, gray, black, and beige in colors. And each of the four different solutions are for a bra, a tie, a t-shirt, or a button up shirt. On the back, it shows you each option and how it would basically be used in a little cartoon type drawing. But I'm gonna show you a couple options right here, right now. This is the clip for a bra. Now granted, this is not a bra, but we're gonna show it on the front pocket here. Now, if you were to stick the cost 11 D inside, you don't have to push it overly hard to have it grab hold pretty well because of this rubber on the cost 11, but it's going to hold it pretty nicely. And unless you really want to pull it out, it'll hold pretty well. So if you were to take this clip and pull downwards onto a bra, it's going to hold pretty well. So you can see right now I'm pulling and tugging on it a lot more than it would be if you ran this cable on the inside of a bra, but that shows you how it would hold pretty well and then it just unclips very easily. So that's the bra clip. The tie clip is very similar except that it's flat on one side and has a slight curve on the other with three little bitty cutouts. And if you were to stick the cost 11 on the inside of that, it is again, just like with the bra clip, isolating the lavalier microphone on the inside. So it's actually not touching the insides of the hide -a mic at all, it is isolated from the sides. And that's really what the goal is, is to put space around the lavalier microphone. And because of these little slits here, you're able to hear out the, out of the, the lob pretty evenly. So it's not gonna really affect the sound too much. The larger surface helps keep it in place just fine on the inside of your tie. So when you stick this on the inside, it's gonna be pretty effective right there. Now, how would you attach it? Well, Hi to Mike sells sticky pads, which is basically like a little bitty thin, small piece of adhesive. So if you were to pull up on this plastic right there, revealing the sticky pad, then what you can do is just very easily stick your lav uh, to it or the concealer rather to it and this would actually stick very effectively on the inside of your tie So obviously you'd run this through the tie first and then when you would slide this up into place It will hold very well because that adhesive is actually pretty effective I mean, I just pulled the the lav out because I didn't secure it properly But that's on me not the hide a mic device itself. You see that? It's not going anywhere, well, until I pull it out. Another thing Hide a Mic sells is the sticky tape, which is basically adhesive butyl tape. And if you were to pull this out, you can see how thin it is. And if you wanted to make more of an old school type uh, rig for your tie, you could very easily pull off a little bit of the tape and then wrap just a little bitty pinch of it around your microphone. And then when you pull this thing off, you can basically have yourself an adhesive that is, uh, well, I should have pulled off this adhesive first. Let me actually do that. And so that way you can wrap it all the way around. And you can see that if you were to wrap this around just like that, you can now stick this inside of a tie and it's going to hold from all the way around. Obviously, make sure none of it's on the capsule itself. If you're looking at this t-shirt and wondering where the lavalier microphone is, well, it's inside of the collar up here. This is the t-shirt concealer option. The B-Flex is another lavalier microphone hiding product that basically is silicone rubber and it's available in black, gray, and beige. 
And the idea is to put a lot of space around the lob yet again. Now it has a larger surface, which will help it stay in place better. And the curved design is gonna help it pull the eye a little bit less than it would if it was just a lavalier microphone. Now, again, you have to buy it for a particular microphone. This one here is for the DPA 4060, 4061, and 4071. And this one here is for the Sankin Cos 11. So we're gonna use this one yet again for our demo. On the back of the B-Flex packaging, it has one option for how to use it. And personally, I'm not an, a big fan of this method, which involves putting a little piece of tape over your lavalier microphone. And then since there's a cutout for the lavalier microphone, kind of opening it up, spreading it around, and then centering it over the lav mic, and then putting a piece of tape over the bottom to secure it. Again, I'm not really a big fan of this method. Now, the way I'd personally prefer to use it is if you open up the B Flex and stick the microphone directly on the inside, make sure it's in there nice and snug and the capsule is directly centered in the top of the, the little opening there. And then if you open up one of the B Flex body pads, you're gonna want to take the yellow piece and stick that facing the lavalier microphone. So we're going to take this now and overlay this here. That's going to hold really well to the actual lavalier itself. Now, once that's on there, you can remove the sticky pad on the back and stick it directly to whatever the surface is that you're wanting to stick it to. Now, if you do this the opposite direction where it's not the yellow that's sticking out there, instead it's the uh, the white, the back part, and the yellow is facing downwards, it's not going to stick nearly as well. Now, if you pull really hard, you can pull it out, so you don't wanna do that because then you have lost all of this body pad and you have to redo it because uh, it's not going to to hold in there very well. So just make that a word to the wise. You might wanna add a, a strain relief piece in there, but uh, once you do that, once it's on there pretty well, it shouldn't hopefully move. Now, once this is secured to the chest, you can put even a t-shirt over on top of it. And because of the smooth design, it's not gonna really stand out. Now, if you press and try to reveal it, it will. But for the most part, even when he's laying flat like this, you're not gonna really see it because the body is curved and that, like masks it pretty well and effectively. So once the shirt's kind of, you know, relaxed on top, you're not going to really see it at all. Another product from Hi to Mike here is the Clip Z or the clips as I refer to them. Now these are based on hair extension clips, but with a rubber band across it. I'll show you here in a second. Now, if you were to look at it right here, it would basically, you press it in the middle to flex it and then it opens up like this. You're going to thread it through some hair and then when you press it and flex it back the other direction, it's gonna grab hold pretty well. Now, this is a rubber band that you can use to stick a lavalier microphone through, and there's two basic ways of doing it. The first is to just thread the lavalier microphone directly through the clip, just like this. And the second way is to pull it out a little bit more and then go back through it yet again, the same way you just did. And the advantage for doing it this way is that now it will hold closer to the actual thread itself. Now, once you pull it back, you're able to position it a little bit better as to where you'd want it and it holds much better too. So once you thread this through the hair and it grabs hold and then you fl you flex it the other direction so that way it holds, it's gonna actually hold pretty well against this and it's not gonna pull through at all. Now, once you route the lavalier microphone through and clip it in place, you can then kind of toss the hair back over so that it kind of layers it up and hides the microphone a bit. There are links to all the products showcased in this video in the description below. And in case you're curious, yes, the Acoustic Noise Reducer is also a product of Hydamike. And you can check out my review of this product right there. Or click the link in about 10 seconds. Thank you for tuning in this episode of Soundspeeds. Be sure to the future for more products that you need to know about, especially if you're in production sound. And as always, sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.